From the News Channel 5 Network, this is the High School Sports Page, sponsored by Burns Insurance Group. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the High School Sports Page, brought to you by the Burns Insurance Group with locations in Mount Juliet, Nashville, and Franklin. We've got a, a little change in uh, uh, programming tonight uh, because of the flooding situation uh, over in South Carolina. Uh, our State Fire Marshal Gary West, who is normally with us to present some awards uh, and tonight, it was going to be the Wilson County Emergency Management Group as well as uh, John McNeil and Friendship Christian. Uh, but because of all that's been going on the last couple of days, as far as Tennesseans helping out South, South Carolinians, uh, that segment of the show will not be with us tonight but never fear we're going to be able to fill the time just fine uh week eight of the high school football season here in tennessee upon us uh terry uh terry merrill my co-host here uh hard to believe the season's that far along but even uh, more this must be the designated fall break week because 94 teams across the state are not playing football this week because they're taking a little break from the classroom we didn't have that when i was in school no, I don't. Did I didn't, you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Fall break did not exist no. in Marshall County. No either, such right? thing. No <laughs> such thing, Murphy. Okay, but we're going to have Charles Rathbone from Page High School, Scott Tillman from Lipscomb Academy, uh, will be with us also, and then we also have a couple of special guests. We're going to take a break from football for just a few minutes and talk basketball, right, Terry? That's right, Murphy. We've got Eva LeMay and also <laughs> Richard Gale with us tonight. A big event coming up in January on the prep basketball level. We'll be talking about that, and that's going to be a lot of fun. Welcome to the show, y'all. Thank, uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank gonna you. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be called the Music City Classic. It is a basketball event uh, in January, and uh, Eva... Uh, obviously, basketball is on the minds of an awful lot of people right now. It's just around the corner, even though we are in, uh, in uh, football season. Uh, but tell us when and where exactly this event is going to take place uh, in January. Absolutely. Um, it's going to be every Martin Luther King weekend. And this year, for the uh, 2016 year, it's going to be January 16th, 17th, and 18th. Our host school is Mo Montgomery Bell Academy, located at... Uh, 4001 Harding Pike. It's going to be a going to be a great event, and I forgot to mention that Eva is the chair and Richard is the vice chair, uh, director of operations for the tournament. So that's why we've got them here tonight, right, yeah, Terry? Absolutely. And Richard, the list of teams that are coming to this are just—it's amazing. You've got teams coming from Canada, uh, also nine states across the country, including Chicago, Atlanta, Mobile, Washington D.C., uh, Memphis. Uh, it's, it sounds to me like we're going to be looking at some future NBA stars uh, by the time this is over with. Absolutely, Terry, absolutely. Got a 6'9", Iron Bennett, come from Mount Zion. Even a 7-footer come from Hamilton Heights. Uh, also, don't even forget about our small 5'6", dangerous Crystal Dangerfield coming in. She was a former Miss Tennessee and also actually a former signing on to UConn already. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a really fun time. Even the, uh, the whole event has, uh, has been created uh, for a very worthwhile cause, and, and all the proceeds from this event are going to benefit whom? They're going to benefit 20, 24 scholarship recipients. We're looking at giving um, scholarship stipends to 24 selected schools based on their high enrollment of inner city youth. So we're looking at the need-based inner city uh, crowd to help uh, get into college and, and actually degree attainment is our is our ultimate goal. And those and those uh, those young men and young women that are going to benefit from that are those all Davidson County? Uh, Absolutely, yes. People, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Richard, uh, we talked about some of the teams from out of the state that are coming, but uh, what tell us about some of the teams that we've got uh, locally right here from in the mid state? Some pretty good basketball teams in their own right. Yes, Terry. NBA actually is our host. Montgomery Bell Academy. We're also bringing in Cane Ridge. Brentwood Academy is also a state champs. And Ridgeway coming from Memphis. Hamilton Heights coming from Chattanooga. And also our girls team coming from Blackman, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. The defending AAA girls state champion. And I think Correct. they finished the season maybe number two in the country. Yes, is they that did. right? Yes, so, sir. Uh, several teams that are going to be uh, uh, involved in this tournament were top 10, top 15, top 20 in the nation uh, basketball teams at the close of the season last year. I can't believe the uh, level of talent that you all have been able to secure for this event. 
That's correct, Murphy. That's correct. We really have tried to take a backwards type of approach. We really went and went and looked for some of the top prospects graduated in 2016 and went kind of backwards to try to get those. Once we found the people that were graduating, we went and got those actual players and went with, with the actual teams. Awesome. We're going to go ahead and take our first break right now. Yeah, okay. let, uh, uh, let the people who are making this show possible tell you about themselves, and we'll be back with more of the high school sports page right after this. Thank <laughs> you.